there is one photography genre that consistently churns out the best photographers in the world. And I believe it's because it focuses on the three most fundamental skills that determine how good we are as a photographer. We need to create images that capture the viewer's attention by being visually interesting and engaging. And we do this through composition. And then we need to tell stories that trigger an emotional response and then start getting the viewer's imagination going. And we do this through story. And then we need to find the compositional and storytelling techniques that we like to use to tell the stories that we like to tell in order to find our own style. So if we're trying to develop these three skills, which genre of photography is going to get us there faster? So you might be thinking wedding photographers for the high pressured nature of the job, capturing both candid and staged images, posing their clients and editing their images in a very specific way. But it's not wedding photography. So you might be thinking press photography for their variety of subjects, for their really cool access and for their adaptability to different environments. But it's not press photography. And you might be thinking travel photography for its epic landscapes, for its incredible stories and for its endless new environments. But it's not travel photography. Wedding photographers have super demanding clients that want a very specific type of image. And this is very creatively restrictive because you can't just follow your curiosity and see where that takes you. Press photographers are always up against the clock. They've got a limited time with talent. They need to turn around their images in rapid time. And there's always so much competition. And so this really limits their creativity. And with travel photography, it puts strain on other aspects of your life. And well, if you can't be traveling all the time, you can't be developing your skills. You see, there is one genre of photography that changes the game in terms of our development. And that's street photography. Let me explain. The accessibility of street photography is one of its greatest strengths. If we consider that the mind is like a muscle, for us to make gains in the gym, we need to be putting in the repetitions. It's exactly the same with our photographic mind. And street photography is a bottomless well of opportunities, right? And not only that, the playing field is neutralized. The access that I get is the same access that you get, which means that anyone with any camera can walk the streets. And the only difference between the images that we get is the skill set that we have. And this also facilitates our curiosity because with no restrictions to access and no time limits, we're able to follow our curiosity and dive into what makes us, us. And the accessibility of street photography then means that it is the perfect place to practice, right? And so with that, the street is the infinite playground. There's so many different ways that we can go out and about and practice our skills. We can be placing light subjects on dark backgrounds and creating contrast. We can be trying to hunt for interesting colours and combinations and combining gestures. And because street photography is so spontaneous and candid, we are purely just reacting to the environment, right? And so we need to learn the ability to anticipate and predict a scene as it unfolds in front of us. And then to be able to recall the different techniques that we think are going to help best tell that story. And the best thing about it is that there are no consequences. We can be creative without the pressure and we can try things until they work. We can keep iterating and keep practicing without getting beat around the head by an angry client or bride. And so not only that, by shooting street photography, we are getting out and getting our exercise done. There's also a thriving online and in-person community that you can join. And most importantly, there is coffee everywhere you go. And so if you wanna be the best photographer you can be, Come join us on the street and subscribe to the channel for more.